Breaking news sources telling Fox News that former Marine Daniel Penny has just been indicted by a grand jury in the chokehold death of homeless man Jordan Neely aboard a New York City subway train. Brian Yenis has the very latest. Hey, Brian. Hey, Dana. Well, we expected the vote to happen today, and it did. According to two sources, the grand jury has voted to indict Daniel Penny. The 24-year-old Marine veteran will now face trial for the chokehold death of Jordan Neely, the 30-year-old homeless, mentally ill man that witnesses say was threatening passengers on board that New York City subway last month. We don't know the exact charges that he's being indicted on yet, but he was facing a second degree manslaughter charge. This grand jury had been hearing evidence and witness testimony on this case since May 31st. They weren't considering whether Penny was guilty or not guilty, but rather whether there was enough legally sufficient evidence and reasonable cause to believe that a crime had been committed here. The bar for indictment is low. They only needed 12 of the 23 grand jurors to vote yes to indict and they have. There will now be a trial. The Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg says said that they believe there was enough evidence, witness interviews, photos, videos in this case to prove that Penny recklessly caused the death of Neely by keeping him in the chokehold even after he stopped moving. It took 11 days for the DA's office to charge Penny, and the charge came only after days of protests in New York City from activists who were outraged that Penny was not immediately arrested and charged. Penny's attorneys were reportedly planning on allowing him to testify in front of this grand jury, which would have been a rare and bold move, but Fox News learned that Penny did not, in fact, testify into this grand jury. Now, Penny's attorneys did release video clips data to the press a few days ago in which the Marine veteran defends himself, saying he and fellow passengers were scared of Neely and that he only meant to restrain, not kill Jordan Neely. If he is found guilty in a trial, he faces up to 15 years in prison if, in fact, the charge is that second-degree manslaughter charge. Daniel. Brian Yanis, thank you. And just days ago, Daniel Penny was speaking out and defending his actions. He claims Jordan Neely was making threats. The three main threats that he repeated over and over was, I'm going to kill you, I'm prepared to go to jail for life, and I'm willing to die. We were all scared. Mr. Neely was yelling in these passengers' faces, and they looked terrified. Um, the reason why there was no video at the start of the altercation was because people were too afraid getting away from him. Penny also saying that the incident had nothing to do with race. Some people say that this was about race, which is absolutely ridiculous. I didn't see a black man threatening passengers. I saw a man threatening passengers, it's a lot of whom were people of color. The man who helped restrain Mr. Neely was, was a person of color. And then a few days after the incident, I, I read in the papers that uh, a woman of color came out and called me a hero. What, I don't believe that I'm, I'm a hero, but uh, she was one of those people that I was trying to protect. All right, so this news just breaking. Greg, to get indicted in Albert Bragg's New York, you have to try to stop a crime from happening. Mm, and exactly. then you get indicted. <laughs> yes, there you go. By the way, uh, Penny's wrong. It is about race. That's what they're going to make it in the media about race. Uh, I think the indictment's expected. This is a political case because we've politicized safety. The hard left has politicized safety. You can no longer defend yourself and you can no longer defend others because the person you are defending against is, quote, homeless mentally ill person. Never mind that he's also a violent, self-destructive felon who beat women and children. The spin will always be homeless, mentally ill black man. And the only villains in these stories are going to be white, uh, even though a black Marine would have done the same thing as Penny did because Marines tend to do the right and the risky thing. And speaking of risk, we are, we are really lucky that we will never have to be in a situation where we have to choose between saving the lives of others and a murder charge or a manslaughter charge. But we should also be lucky that someone like Daniel Penny will be there because we're too chicken not to do what he does. Right. People were grateful, uh, grateful for his actions. One way to prevent this whole thing from ever happening, Alvin Bragg should really think about this when he goes home at night, maybe lock up, mm -hmm. maybe lock up in a prison or in a hospital, deranged felons like the deceased. If you don't do that, then we need some sort of transparency. Uh, everyone who comes into contact with a person like that needs to know that. So if you're willing to let them out, you know, these, these 
these wild, deranged people into the general population, then we have a right to know that. And that means if you want to give them the freedom, it should come with a blinking armband or a, blink, a blinking ankle bracelet, right? Because at least they're free. That'll suffice. Similar incident just happened uh, this week, and it's happening a lot. People are trying to step in because you have brazen, unstable individuals terrorizing people, and the cops are either not there or their hands are literally metaphorically tied. Uh, once you take away the rights to defend yourselves after uh, paralyzing the police, what do you expect? Mm -hmm. I want to give credit for this phrase because it was not mine. Uh, Paul Morrow, who you've seen on the show before, he's or all the shows, he's said, Jesse, that this is one of those cases where it's about class, not race, and it's the Uber class versus the subway class. Mm. So you have people who take the subway who know what it's like and have to deal with it every day. And so when this does go to trial, if it does, the jury of his peers will be people who are made up of um, either a mix of those or probably more people who ride the subway daily and might be sympathetic. And the Uber class used to be the subway class, but the subway is too dangerous, right. so now they're paying more to ride Uber. Yep. They'll probably erect a statue of Neely. Why not? He's a deranged, violent drug addict. Let's take down Teddy Roosevelt and put something up of him. I'm sure either it's Trump or DeSantis, all of the Republican candidates for president are saying they're going to pardon this guy if he's convicted. I'm sure he's got a nice fat GoFundMe page going because he deserves all the help he can get. And I hope from the bottom of my heart that there's one New Yorker with a heart on this jury that can make sense of this thing. Now let's look at it through race. Let's do it, right? You have a white guy protecting black people from a black guy and a black prosecutor wants to put that white guy in jail? Think about that for a second. Mm. And it's a lot of these cases. It's McCluskey, it's Rittenhouse, and now it's Penny. They don't want you to defend yourself. They don't want you to even have a firearm. And think about being a Marine. You sign up. You say, I'm going to sacrifice everything. I'm going to go do push-ups every day, shave my head, put my life on the line yep. to defend all of these people. And what this is the thanks he gets. Mm -hmm. He comes back and protects people the way he was doing in the Marine Corps. And a slovenly prosecutor, for political reasons, tries to put this guy in prison. This is a miscarriage of justice if it goes down like this. And I hope everybody on the Republican side makes that promise. We, we don't have yet at least answers to a couple of things. I don't believe, Jessica, that we have seen the toxicology report of right. Neely, which might be something good for everyone to see, and I'm sure it will come out in, in the jury. Um, and also, Penny has every incentive to fight this. His next court appearance is June 17th, so that's just a few days away. But he could, he could spend so much time behind bars yeah. if, if this goes against him. So you will see... A, a, perhaps a landmark case in New York City, but just because of the climate that we're in, the crime situation that we're in, and now a, every once in a while a case like this comes around. There will certainly be a lot of interest in it, and I, I think you said it was up to 15 years in prison, mm -hmm. which is a really long time. Um, but in defense of Alvin Bragg bringing charges and having to bring this to a grand jury, a man is dead. Right. If this had been some sort of attack and Jordan Neely, when he was put into the recovery position, popped up, and the cops came and they took him away, that would be one thing. But someone did die. And Judge Pirro, when we were talking about this, pointed that out, that it obviously makes it more complicated to just go, oh, Daniel Penny is a hero and walk away because there is someone who is no longer alive as a result yeah. of that. Whether his life is as meaningful to some people as a former Marine, someone who served our country, I, you know, I'm not one to make that kind of judgment. But this is someone who had a tragic life. We know about what happened. His mother chopped up and put yep. in a bag and found by the side of a highway. Who's in the top 50 um, most at risk list for homeless people been in arrested the city. Been arrested, times. had beaten up older women. Yeah. Um, and so I happen to think that if this goes to trial, when this goes to trial, that they will rule in favor of Daniel Penny, that he did see a threat, that he was protecting people, and that it is a tragic mistake here. But you can't just ignore the fact that somebody died and act like you should just put a medal on him and walk away. Well, I didn't I call would, him a I hero. He didn't him. call himself a hero. I'll call him a hero. You did. Yeah, I, I didn't would, call I would, him a hero. I'll call I would give Daniel I'll, Penny I will, a, hero, I think so. a medal if I were on that train. I absolutely would. Yep. And I would Well, and I'm him. curious also, Katie, I just, look, there's one other thing that we don't know. That was my shoes. Yeah. Sorry. Um, the 
There were two people who assisted Penny mm -hmm. at the time. Right. Uh, were they witnesses right. at the grand jury? Were they going to be charged as well? They, they, we don't have the details right. of what the grand jury decided, but we haven't heard that they are also being charged as accessories to this situation. Um, you know, Jordan Neely died as a result of his behavior. He died because he was on the train threatening to kill people and people like Daniel Penny decided that, and the two others, that they weren't going to be the ones who were victims of that and they weren't going to allow innocent women, possibly children, elderly people on that train to be victims of what he was threatening to do. And now he's being punished for it. And it's interesting to watch the argument play out and how the left sees heroes in Jordan Neely and giving people some kind of pass for this kind of violent behavior because they're mentally ill or had a tough life. And that's what Alvin Bragg thinks. That's how his whole criminal justice philosophy, that's what's, what it's built on. Versus Daniel Penny, who served his country, is on a train, sees people being violently accosted with, with words and threats and decides to do something about it. And the thing that this will result in is more innocent victims of yeah. crimes because nobody wants to be charged with manslaughter. Nobody wants to be dragged through the media circus of the racial issue. And so it only is going to result in a worse situation for people who ride the subway and innocent people are just trying to make an honest living and get to work. Can I just add quickly, though? I, I don't think that people see Jordan Neely as a hero. His GoFundMe page, your point does. about GoFundMes, so Daniel Penny's has millions of dollars and Jordan Neely's capped out at about $100,000. People are not buying into this in the same way as other, tr other tragedies, like what happened with a George Floyd. And I understand at the beginning there was a race to try to make it like that, but I think that people see that it fails. for what it is. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.